Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Nerd News. Uh, we got a lot of cool things to talk about in this video. <laughs> in this video. Um, I like doing these little nerd vlogs, little nerd news vlogs. Um, we're going to be talking about a few things today. San Diego Comic Con, some of the cool stuff that's going to be uh, getting an early release at San Diego Comic Con. Um, the new Dragon Ball Z movie that's coming out. Some Funko Pops, new Dragon Ball Z movie, like I already said, um, and then kind of a, a little bit of a surprise uh, at the end of something I've I've done. Um, so San Diego Comic Con is next week, and I'm not going. Uh, but uh, I'm real, I'm super excited for San Diego Comic Con every year because there's always like really cool news uh, in in just like the the geek and, and nerd culture coming out. Um, every year there's always some really, really cool stuff. Um, so San Diego Comic Con is, uh, next, next weekend, uh, July 19th through the 22nd. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to pay attention to all the news that's coming out, and then after the convention's over, uh, I'm gonna try to do a, a vlog on all the cool news that comes out. But, what's also really big at uh, San Diego Comic Con that I can talk about right now, they get early releases. So the biggest thing I'm going to talk about is, is going to be like Funko Pops. Um, but also there is, um, there's all this, like it's really cool, just a ton of like exclusive stuff. But, they're going to be shared exclusive so you can find them at other stores with these Funko Pops. Um, and basically if you get to go, you just get to get it a, a a few days earlier than, than everybody else in some cases. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is this really, really cool new LEGO set that's coming out. A LEGO Voltron. And what's really sweet about this new LEGO set is like, uh, you build all the lions and then you can actually have the lions form together and they can form Voltron, which is really freaking cool. I'm really excited for this. I want to get it. Um, if you're going to San Diego Comic Con this next weekend, you can buy it there. Um, everybody else, it's going to release on August 1st uh, next month. So it's going to release August 1st next month. It is going to be 180 bucks, um, but it's it's so cool, uh, and it's modeled after the 1980s, the the original Voltron, which is is pretty neat. Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can afford to get it. Um, I'm on a leave of absence from work right now, so money's a little bit more tight than it usually is. Um, but I'm really hoping uh, to get that. Um, and what, what I want to do is I want to get it and then do a build video of it and then like show you show it off to you guys. So I'm really hoping I can get that. Um, if I was going to San Diego, San Diego Comic Con and I had the money, I would be getting it this weekend. But I'm not cool enough to go to that. Nor can I afford to. Along with other cool stuff releasing uh, at San Diego Comic Con besides the cool Voltron Lego set, tons of Funko Pops. And I am, uh, I am super super hardcore addicted to collecting Funko Pops right now. I mostly do just Dragon Ball Z, but I, I do collect um, just some other stuff I like as well. I'm going to go through and uh, tell you guys a couple of my favorites. Most of them are going to be Dragon Ball Z related, um, but I will talk about a couple other ones that I thought were really cool. Um, there's So a lot of these, um, there's still a lot of rumors going around on a lot of these new Funko Pops. Some are going to be shared exclusives, so... Um, you're basically like the day the convention starts, the 19th. You're basically able to go to like Hot Topic or GameStop and buy some of these, uh, which is really cool. So you don't have to be at the convention to get them. Um, still gonna be really hard to find because they're exclusives. They're probably limited. Blah blah blah. Um, but you're not completely screwed. Some of my first favorite ones are probably the Conan O'Brien uh, Funko Pops. Uh, Conan showed off a few of them uh, at uh, on his show the other night. There is some you can get at GameStop right now. There's like three you can get at GameStop. Um, but there's some other ones um, that haven't been released yet. There's like a Star Wars Conan, a uh, Predator Conan, an Ant-Man Conan. Um, and I, I think one other thing I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Oh, it's a, it's a Hellboy Conan. That's the other one. That's the other one. Being a Doctor Who fan, they are releasing the 13th Doctor. Um, I'm super excited to see her this fall and actually be the doctor on the TV show. I would love to get that Funko Pop because I, my wife bought me some, uh, some 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 of the Funko Pops I'm going to show off uh, in the next segment of this video. Uh, my wife bought me some Doctor Who ones, and now I'm kind of into collecting those as well. 
Again, some of the, the ones I'm really, really excited about uh, are some ones I'm probably never going to get my hands on, uh, like this Gold Vegeta. Uh, he's rumored to be a convention only, but he's also a Toy Tokyo exclusive, so there's maybe a chance that it might go live on their website. I'm really hoping. Uh, the Metallic Whis. I really want Metallic Whis. He's also going to be a... He's rumored to be a Funimation exclusive, so I'm hoping that I can just get Funimation.com and just buy it. Um, the other one, really hilarious, Dead Yamcha. Like, I think this is the only Yamcha Funko Pop from the Dragon Ball Z line. I'm disappointed that it looks like he's sleeping. He doesn't have, like, X's on his eyes or something, but whatever. It looks like he's Dead Yamcha, and that's great. Uh, and then there's a Super Saiyan Brawly. He's coming out, too. Um, the Yamcha and the Brawly are rumored to be Hot Topic exclusives. I know Hot Topic does get a lot of the anime uh, exclusives, so hopefully I can just get up early and, and go to Hot Topic in the morning and, and get some of these. Um, another Toy Tokyo exclusive is the uh, uh, the Green Hornet and Green Hornet and Kato Funko Pops. These guys look really cool. There's a lot of really cool Marvel ones coming out, like tons of stuff. There's this cool Tamatoa one from uh, Moana. He's he's the one that was in the uh, like the black light or whatever. This one's rumored to be a box lunch exclusive, which could also make it a hot topic exclusive because they're like the same same company. But again, all just rumors. Um, another one I kind of want is the the Sailor Moon one, just because of how cool she looks. I think that yeah, I think that's probably all the the Funko Pops I want to talk about. Um, I know, unrelated to San Diego Comic Con, they did come out. Uh, with another Weird Al one, which is also an FYE exclusive. Um, I want to start collecting the Weird Al Funko Pops too. So moving on, we're from San Diego Comic Con. Again, I will try. I'm gonna try to pay attention to all the news because I know I'm looking forward to. They're gonna talk about the next season of the Voltron Netflix series. They're gonna be talking about the new Godzilla movies. I'm sure tons of others. Just, just a, a, a plethora of, of really cool geek news. Um, that I'm going to try to pay attention to and then kind of do a recap on another nerd vlog for you guys. Um, moving on though, I'm going to share with you guys some of the Funko Pops that uh, I bought over the last couple weeks. And I bought a lot of them, probably more than, well, more than I usually, I guess it's not a lot for some people, but it's more than I usually buy. So I'm going to show off two uh, that my, my son actually bought. Uh, he, is, he is super into, into Minecraft. So he has a, a Steve, Steve and then a, an, what is it, Alex Alex and Diamond Armor, which the, the Alex and Diamond Armor is a Best Buy exclusive, so we got it at Best Buy, which is pretty cool. Um, but they're kind of neat. They look very, they look very like Minecraft. God, I'm having trouble with my camera today. There we go. Ooh. Um, but they're pretty neat. Not necessarily my thing. I, I don't, like Minecraft is cool. Minecraft is cool, but I would probably not... I know that I would get too addicted to building and, and other stuff, that's why I, I don't play it. <laughs> um, I snagged this guy um, at a Best Buy 2 the last time I was in there. He's a, it's a black and white cuphead, it's a, it's a chase, so I figured uh, I should grab it, because it'll be collectible maybe one day, I don't know. Um, Cuphead's cool, a very fun game, I'm not, I'm not like super hardcore into the franchise, but when you see a cool rare Funko Pop, you gotta get it to add it to your collection. But just recently, my wife bought me these really cool Doctor Who ones. Uh, it's the 11th Doctor slash Mr. Clever, which this was a really this was one of my favorite um, Matt Smith episodes. Was this one where uh, there was some some like robotic virus that like, took him over, basically, or, or something? I'm probably blanking on that really badly, but he he was really cool. Um, and then the War Doctor Funko Pop, uh, which is played by the who's played by the late John Hurt, also really neat. Um, and they got some cool ones on the back that you can that you can collect there. I'm excited to get more of those. We bought these at uh, Michael's Craft Store, which is I'm so, I didn't know they had Funko Pops. And I heard I heard the the Mr. Clever one I think was a vaulted Funko Pop, but I'm not 100 percent sure of which. Kind of seems weird if it was still at at Michael's Craft Store. But the rest of my Funko Pops are all Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z related uh, Funko Pops, uh, which again is what I was talking about that I collect the most. Um, about two weeks ago or so, my son and I went to we went to Fye at the Lloyd Center to um, 
find some more Godzilla movies for us to watch together. And we found some Funko Pops. This one was staring at me in the face. It does say it's a it's a Funimation convention exclusive, so it's got the cool little sticker on it. I was like, I don't have either of those Funko Pops, so I'd really like to get them. Um, but that guy's pretty neat. I was happy to snag that one. Um, and because they were having a sale, uh, I had to get more Funko Pops. So I found this one. Had to. Yeah, just had to, Cat. It was a sale. It was a sale, so if you bought... Cause my son was buying... My son was buying the, the Steve. My son was buying the Steve, Steve! And I was buying the two-pack. And they're like, well, if you buy another one, you get it 75% off. So I was like, well, okay, well, I guess I'll get another one. So we got a Majin Buu. Majin Buu! Uh, he's a lot heavier. I'm, like, I mean, I know he's Fat Buu. Big Fat Buu, but... He's a lot heavier than the other Funko Pops, which I thought was kind of funny. And then, moving on to some Dragon Ball Super. And into my Dragon Ball Super collection, I got a regular Whis. Pretty neat. Uh, I, think, what I, got? I think I got him at Box Lunch at the Clackamas Town Center. And then I also got a Zamasu. Zamasu at the Clackamas Town Center as well. I thought he was pretty neat too. Um... But yeah, I need uh, so many more to collect. Just so many more to collect. So many more that I don't have money to buy. What sucks with like Funko Pops is you get some of these super rare ones that are like... Like that Gold Vegeta that I mentioned that I'm probably never going to get. Like, that one is already pre-order on eBay for like $400. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, that's so much money. And it's frustrating, because I know I'm going to get to the point of, like, like these guys are 10 12 bucks. I'm going to get to the point where some of the more rare ones are between 20 and 40 And then after that, they just skyrocket up to hundreds of dollars, and it, it's balls. Complete balls. So, keeping the Dragon Ball Z theme, um, they... Akira Toriyama just recently announced um, that the new Dragon Ball Super movie that's coming out uh, at the end of the year in Japan is actually, the main villain is actually going to be Brawly. They're bringing Brawly back, which I'm, that's really cool, I'm super excited for, because I always loved Brawly, and he, he was one of the, like, they turned him really weird at the end of his third movie, but really cool, really cool villain overall. Akira Toriyama basically said, that they were trying to think of the storyline for the movie, uh, and one of his uh, assistants or whatever said, like, hey, you know, Brawly's still really, really popular, both both here in Japan and overseas, why don't we make it about Brawly? So he's like, hey, I, at that time he wasn't really working on the anime anymore, so he went back, watched the old movies, said he wanted to change a lot of things, and he wants to make, the biggest news is he wants to make Brawly canon. So... At this point, after this movie, Brawly's going to be canon, so they're probably going to work him into the series somehow, which, that sounds really, really cool as well. Um, the movie, the movie itself, uh, is going to release in Japan on 12 14 of, of this year, uh, and then there's going to be a U.S. theatrical release, which I'm also really excited for, in, uh, at the, near the first of the year, January 2019. They don't have an exact date yet, but it's really cool that they're going to release it in theaters. Also related to that, um... Fathom Events is going to be doing uh, the old Brawly movies in theaters over the next couple months as well, which is also really neat. And to finally end this off with a really cool surprise, uh, at least I think it was cool, uh, I'm still pretty happy about it, and I want to say, like I, like I mentioned before, I've been on a, a little bit of a leave of absence from work. I went into work yesterday and nobody noticed it, even when I was giving people high fives and stuff, they were like, hey, we're sorry to see you, it's good to see you. Nobody noticed this. Nobody noticed this. So I'm going to talk about it. And anybody from work that watches these videos, Cody, I'm probably looking at you, or Josh, or a few other people, uh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, a tattoo movement called Project Semicolon. Uh, basically, it's about people getting a semicolon tattooed somewhere on their body that uh, that represents to like keep fighting or keep on going through... Uh, through battle with different types of mental health, kind of promotes mental health awareness, different things like that. Um, because of what's happened with me recently, 
and just over the the few years of watching other people go through different things um, I really wanted to get a, a semicolon tattoo to, to kind of represent that um, and that's what I did um, but I knew like I had to make it about me I did I had to really really personalize it if, if that's what I was gonna do um, and so what I did was I have a let's see if I can it's hard to the camera angles are really bad it is a it is a Dragon Ball Z themed uh, there we go if I push my arm a little bit it's a Dragon Ball Z themed uh, semicolon that I have on my wrist right now it is still healing so it doesn't look super nice um, it's only it's about a week old or two, two weeks old no about a week old uh, of today um, so it's still peeling still healing um, here's a there is a picture on the screen of what it looked like right after it was done uh, but it is a so it's the Nimbus cloud and then a seven star Dragon Ball for the, for the dot of the semicolon I know a lot of questions I've gotten when I was talking about this tattoo is how come you don't use the four star ball that's the most popular one um, I chose seven again to personalize it for me because seven's like a really big seven's a really big um, I guess number in my life uh, I know that's kind of sounds superstitious and kind of stupid, but uh, you know, my I was born on July seventh on a Saturday, and if I remember correctly, like during the seventh hour of the morning, uh, it's around seven a.m. Uh, so it's it's kind of a big, big lucky number in for me personally, and that's why I chose the seven star ball. Uh, I'm super happy with it. It was done by um, a really cool. Uh, tattoo parlor in Gresham. I have it written down, Cat. My wife's yelling at me with the name of it. I have it written down, so I, I made I did I did more research this time, and I made notes for myself, so I, I wouldn't stumble all over my words this time. It's quite a really cool by a really cool place called Equinox Tattoo Collective. Um, they have about five or six, I think, people um, that are in this one building that are, are tattoo artists. They do different, each of them have different specialties, different things like that. Um, mine was done by a guy named Jersey, who does a lot more of, like, cartoony style art and different things. And because I wanted this to look like it was directly ripped from the anime, um, is why I went with him. Really cool dude, um, has a lot of really cool artwork and stuff, too. Um, I will put a link down, uh down below in the oh my god I'm losing my train of thought now because cat yelled at me description. description yeah there we go uh, down in the description below I'll put a link to uh, Equinox Tattoo's website um, and then I'll, I'll throw in a uh, a link to Jersey's uh, Jersey's page on their website as well um, really cool really happy with it um, it's just it's neat every time every time I look at it I just I get more excited uh, so don't tell anybody at work don't tell anybody I want somebody to notice it like, just be like what did it I want to be surprised I guess that's about it um, let me know let me know what you guys think of some of the stuff I talked about uh, what are you most excited for news wise coming out of San Diego Comic Con what Funko Pops are you excited for this release that's coming up this week are you gonna go out and try to hunt them down uh, and then, what do you what do you guys think of Brawly being the new the new Super Saiyan or the new the new villain in the the Dragon Ball Z movie? Because the Dragon Ball Z movie was supposed to be about origins of the Saiyans and involved Frieza and stuff, and I I think it's really cool that they brought Brawly back. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, blah blah blah, so you know when I upload stuff. And until next time, guys, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.